As we speak, President Obama's motorcade is winding through the streets of San Francisco. Mr. Obama is here again for the fifth time in less than a year. He's in town for a quick visit worth millions of dollars. Air Force One landed just about 30 minutes ago. You see it here, the president bounding down the steps on a central figure in all of this for the last 10 years has been then San Francisco mayor and now Lieutenant Governor of California, Gavin Newsom. And I understand, Lieutenant Governor, you're joining us from the phone, driving from Sacramento into City Hall in San Francisco. Are you with us this afternoon? Yeah, thanks, Roger. And a little frustrating. You wait uh, nine years for this moment and you're stuck in traffic. Benjamin Levy, uh, who's joining us now from SF General, he was on this flight, and you're seeing the video here of the airplane. He was on this flight 214 from Seoul to SFO. He's being treated at SF General, and thankfully his injuries aren't extensive or that serious, though uh, Benjamin uh, possibly bruised or broken ribs, that, that still must be painful. Um, yes, it is, but uh, I'm, I, I can talk, and again, I'm very lucky, very lucky. Here's NBC Bay Area's Raj Mathai. It'd be nice if people would stop asking transgender people what they have between their legs. I mean, and people actually take license to feel like they can ask somebody, you know, have you had surgery? You know, it's, you want to lean over and say, have you? It's so <laughs> fabulous because, you know, I'm much too old to go to the club, right? <laughs> But it's like being in a club, and then it's kind of dark, and they're playing like this throbbing hip-hop, <laughs> and you just cycle. Is it out of the question? Is it something where you can't just go into a room with Speaker Boehner and say, let's air out our differences? We're the leaders of this country here in many ways. Well, uh, let me just say that I don't think there's a, a useful use of time to, to see what Mr. Boehner will do inside a room. You say that the president never once had you in a room and really asked you, should we go forward? Well, he with didn't ask any of us. It's not just me. Is this book then a way to maybe cleanse your reputation or cleanse your soul your in many ways? reputation doesn't need cleansing. Is it difficult to digest with the lives lost, almost 5,000 service men and women and innocent uh, Iraqi civilians as well, to digest just your part in the history of all of this? Of course. It's, it's something I have to digest. All of us do. How about the president? He, he's the one who made the decision. But away from the podium, Hersman's true colors are revealed. A 43-year-old mother of three who was simply honored to be nominated as NTSB chief by President Obama. I've been in two administrations, but to be nominated as the chairman by President Obama has been a singular honor. Do you remember the phone call? Uh, Deborah? there's a line one in the White House. Um, you know, of course, you always remember the, you know, the very significant moments in your life. Now, is this a story of a, of a successful entrepreneur who, who went crazy and surrounded himself with girls and guns and became a murderer? Or is this the greatest mind of all time? And with that, we introduce you to John McAfee 2.0. you describe yourself in three words? Is that possible? Three words. Um, Really, really fun. <laughs> <laughs> it's so popular here, this Abbey Road crossing, that there's two cameras. We have our NBC ground crew, and then we have, well, you want to take a look? We have the live webcam. I'm waving to you. This is a live 24-7 webcam that's broadcast around the world. Hopefully Hi, you can Raj. see me. Now, an interesting thing about the Beatles and as they relate to the Bay Area, the and this type of thing doesn't happen with most golf tournaments. In fact, with most sporting events, you don't see presidents in town. You don't see all this pomp and circumstance. Usually these kind of things are reserved for the Olympics. So we saw President Bush here. President Clinton has been here all week. The next question is, where's President Obama?